What? Where am I? I can't see. It's so dark in here. Like a black void where all light is trapped in a vast darkness. Trapped like I am in this dark prison. I try to move my hand. But I can't. I can't even feel where it is. Or anything else. I can't feel. Or smell. Or hear. I'm so alone. More alone than I can ever remember being. More alone than anyone has ever been before. I want to scream. I can feel the scream in my head, but not in my throat if I still have a throat. God, the pain. I'm so alone. I can't stand it. I can't. What if I'm dead? If I am, then this must be hell. Oh, God, don't do this to me. Help me. Where? Oh, oh, I'm, I must be awake again. Awake? Uh, how can I tell like this? No sight, no sound, no feeling, only, only thoughts. The terror of thoughts. I must be alive. If I wasn't, then, then how could I sleep? At least I, I guess I was asleep. And how could I think? Think about where I am and why I can't see, hear, feel. I'm trapped, trapped, and I'm never going to get out, never. I'll always be alone, alone in the dark. You're not alone. What? You're not alone. I'm with you. My name is Paul. Now I'm hearing voices in my head. God, not only am I going to spend the rest of eternity alone in the dark, I have to spend it just crazy enough to know hearing voices in my head makes me insane. You're not insane, and you're not alone. I'm telepathic. You're what? Telepathic. I can hear other people's thoughts and speak back to them with my thoughts. If they're receptive. I heard your cry for help, but you blacked out before I could answer you. But I've... I've never been, uh, what did you call it, telepathic? Yes, that's it. Some people don't realize they can do it until they're put into, well, a, a highly stressful situation. The power of the mind seems to be strengthened under circumstances like uh, life-threatening situations. Life-threatening? You mean, I, I don't think my life is being threatened. Uh, no. Well... Maybe it is. I, I don't know. It's okay. Take it easy. It could have been because you were afraid. Afraid? Of being alone. Yes. I was alone. More alone than I've ever felt in my life. It was... It was so awful. I could hardly stand it. But, but, but now you're here. Here to help. I, I'm not alone anymore. No. You're not alone anymore. Where am I? I don't know. You don't know? But, but, but I, I thought... Tell me the last thing you remember. Waking up in darkness. Well then, who are you? Well, I, I'm... I... I don't know. I can't remember anything from before. No memories at all? No. Nothing. It's... It's like this black hole I'm living in. If you can call this living. But you are alive, and that's what counts. I'm going to need some help from you if I'm going to find you. Can you give me any clues at all? No! I've told you there's nothing! I can't remember anything! I don't even know who I am! God, this can't be happening to me! I can't take it anymore! I must be going crazy! I can't stand it anymore! I can't! Calm down. You're not alone. Remember that. You're not alone. And I'll find you. Somehow... I'll find you. Constra here. It's Paul Chuck. I need a favor. Ah, shoot, pal. What's up? I've contacted someone. He must have been in an accident or something. He doesn't know where he is, and he seems to be suffering from amnesia or shock. I promised I'd find him. That telepathy stuff again, eh? Huh? Yeah, yeah, again. Come on, Chuck, I need your help. Hey, you're the telepath. I'm just a newsman. Exactly. 
And you've got sources I don't. You can find out about accidents and things. Have there been any recently? Uh, nothing serious. Sorry. Huh. Now, what am I supposed to do? How am I going to find him? He could be dying somewhere, alone. Can't you tell where he is? No, I'm telepathic, not clairvoyant. There is a difference, you know. Mm, what do you know about him? Well, he seems to have lost all his senses. Only his mind seems to be functioning. He's alive now, but who knows how long he can hold out alone. I've got to do something. Ah, oh, hell. Thanks anyway, Chuck. Uh, hold on, hold on. Have you uh, tried range finding? Uh, what? Uh, like radar or uh, directional location. You know it doesn't work like that. Yeah, but you have a range, don't you? Yes, I guess so. Well, where are you? The drugstore at 4th and Oak. I'll be there in 15 minutes. You get a map and figure out your maximum range. You what for? We're going to find this guy. Ah, there you are. Hell, you got a working area mapped out? Mm, yeah, but it seems to go on forever. There's blocks and blocks of buildings and warehouses. Where do we start? Well, first we're going to break this up into quadrants and isolate the target to one. Any ideas which one we should start on? Well, not really. Well, maybe. I've got a feeling he's north. Ah, a hunch, huh? Good. Okay, that's where we'll start. Now, uh, where does this circle cross Oak to the north? Mm, on Ferndale Drive. Okay, let's go. It's been so long. Paul, are you there? What's happened? Where are you? You promised you'd help me. Maybe, maybe I can reach him. Reach out beyond this darkness. Paul? Are you there? Paul? Paul? Maybe he's not there anymore. Maybe he's not coming back. He's abandoned me and I'm all alone again. Maybe. Why, why am I kidding myself? Maybe he's not real. I could have been hallucinating. I can't stand it. This isn't real. It isn't. Okay, Ferndale and Oak. Now try making contact. Hello? Are you there? Are you still there? No, he's not there. We're too late. Hey, hey, ever think we might be out of range? Now let's head in a different direction and uh, cut down our search area. Draw a circle to uh, mark the radius of this range on the map. Then all we have to do is check out the rest of the circle. Huh. Okay, let me see now. We'll try south. Here. Right near the outer loop road. Okay, okay, so we didn't find him on the outer loop. We've cut down the original area to something manageable. Now, don't throw in the towel yet, Paul. Not, not when we've still got a chance. Well, I hope you're right, Chuck. I hope you're right. Of course I'm right. Well, from here we'll be able to cover the rest of the area. He's got to be around here. All right, Paul, do your stuff. Are you there? You've got to be there. It's Paul. Answer me. Nothing. I can't reach him. Sorry, Paul. We tried. We tried everything we could. Hey, I know a quiet bar nearby. Can I buy you a drink? <laughs> yeah. I could really use one about now. Uh, just another John Doe somewhere. Probably read about him in the paper tomorrow. <laughs> Too bad. It could have been my byline. This type of stuff really sells papers. Where am I? Oh... I'm awake again. How long? I've got to get out of here, wherever here is. Paul, where are you? You promised you'd help. You've got to come back. I'm here. I thought you'd gone. Oh, God, you are real. I was beginning to think I'd imagined you. It seemed like such a long time ago. It's okay. Everything's going to be okay. You may have your story yet. Hmm? What? I've made contact. Okay, where to? I'm... I'm not sure. But we have to find him before he breaks contact again. Okay, l uh, let's see the map. You're really there, aren't you, Paul? Yes, I'm here. 
and I'm going to stay with you until we find you. Can you remember anything about where you are? No, nothing. I I'm alone in the darkness. It's okay. We'll find you. I only hope it's in time. In time? Yes. We don't know your condition. Time could be critical. Anything you can do to help us... I can't! Don't you understand? Relax. Just relax. There's nothing else I can do. Good. Now you've gained telepathic functions. You can send and receive. See if you can pick up the thoughts of anyone nearby. I... I can't seem to... Nothing. No, I can't hear anyone but you. Paul, don't leave me. I won't. We'll find you soon. I hope so. Of course. Of course! What an idiot I am! Dumb. I mean, I am really dumb. How could I have overlooked it when it's practically on top of us? What is it? Here, on the map. It's been under our noses all along. The hospital? Right. Where else would you expect to find someone who can't see, hear, or feel? Someone in a coma? Let's go. This has to be it. I can feel him stronger than ever before. Too strong to be coming from anywhere else. Well, let's check it out. If he's in a coma, he'd have to be in intensive care. I'm here. Really here. Looking at you. I... I can feel you now. Feel you're near me. Come closer. Paul, would you mind stepping out here for a minute? Hey, Paul, answer me. Uh, what? You're acting like you're hypnotized or something. Snap out of it and come here. Why? I think you should see this. What is it? Look at the name on the door. Jerry Feeders. So? <laughs> Don't you ever read the papers? He's the child killer, the one convicted a few months ago. The inmates at the state pen have no more use for his kind than the rest of us. <laughs> they got hold of him, beat him to a pulp. The nurse says he's not expected to live through the night. Paul, oh, come here. I need you near me. I'm dying, aren't I, Paul? Come closer. I need someone near me before I go. I don't want to be alone. Come closer before it's too late. I'm coming. Hey, Paul, what are you doing? Come back here. Come on, Paul. Hey, quit acting weird and let's go get that drink. Paul. He needs me. What can I do? Touch me. Even if I can't feel you, I'll know you're touching me. I'm touching you now. Can you feel it? No. But your presence is so strong. I can feel you with my mind. Like we were one. I need you, Paul. Need you. I don't want to die. It's too soon. I have so much to do. Everyone feels that way, but there's nothing that can be done to change that. Oh, but there is. There's so much to do. Don't you want to help me, Paul? Help me kill again? You have everything I need to finish the work I've begun. In time, you'll learn to love the feeling of exhilaration as you squeeze the life out of some young helpless creature <laughs> no I, I I won't let you use me <laughs> it's too late we're already merging I can feel your will breaking you're such a fool Paul what you call compassion I call weakness you've enabled me to take over your physical being so my life can go on no no I I, I won't let you. You have no choice. <laughs> Give up, Paul. I'm stronger than you. Soon I'll have complete control over you. I'll n never let n you. I can still stop you. Ah, don't resist. It's a waste of energy. There is nothing you can do. Nothing except give up and let me have your body. No, there is one thing, one way to stop you, and that is my choice, my choice to protect all the innocent children you would prey upon. What, 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 what are you doing? No, you can't! I can. We're seven stories up, and that is more than enough to stop you forever. Paul! No! Oh, God! Paul!
happy haunting. <laughs>